threw a big bucket in there and let them go to town. Pill bugs, guys, do not stay on the top of the ground. See all these holes? This is where they're burrowing in, and look, they're eating my tomato stalks. So it's malarkey to say they stay on top of the ground, because they don't. They're all through this mound of my tomato plant, see? And unless we have different kinds of bugs than everybody else, I call hogwash. It's uh, pretty disturbing. So I'm picking them out by the hand, by my hand, with hands, and then I'm putting diatomaceous earth on the mound. And uh, we're gonna see how that works out. Look at there. Now, if you're hearing agitation in my voice, you are so right. Because so many things, when we started to see them, investigated even with some top-notch folks oh they're good for your garden they help compost any other matter that's in your garden well you know what guys that's not good for your garden that's malarkey that's a load of malarkey load of malarkey so if you're watching guys you know that I'm fighting the pill bug <clears throat> infestation, if you saw my previous video. So I went in, dug out a little bit around my plants and um, handpicked them. I got three bucketfuls. And then I went and heavily saturated the dirt around the plants with some diatomaceous earth. So let's look and see how they're looking. One of you posted, better look like a Texas snow Christmas and boy did I do that. So uh, I'm gonna show you some shots of the pill bugs as I, well here, we can just come on over here and let's see if it's working. I know that others said that it was gonna take a while for the diatomaceous earth to kill them, but let's see if I see them anywhere up around here. No, thank goodness. This little soldier thinks he's going to go on up that mound and munch on my tomato plant, but we're going to see. I ain't happy. Let's see if it deters him. determined. What do y'all think? Think it's a deterrent? He did fall over on his little back and I hope he stays there. I hope this is helping some of you guys because we are gonna find a solution, my friends. Yeah, it looks like it did deter him. 
Just look at him. So what I'm having to do as I go through these piles is I'm having to bring this soil down off this stalk to see if they're down under so I can pick them. And I am picking them by hand, guys. I am picking them by hand. So we'll get this situated and then I will diatomaceous earth these and see if we can't head these off at the pass. Make sure. See, there they are, right there. And a little earwig, which that diatomaceous earth is supposed to help with as well. So, don't let anybody tell you that they're not under the soil because they are, and they are munching. Another thing that's helping is going through and mixing up this because I'm finding as I get further down the line in these are dried out there's not as many so dry soil or keeping it you know only wet when needed when you're watering is the key and we got to let these dry out now a drip tape is going to help us with this greg just has not had time to get it put in this is the diatomaceous earth i put on last night look at there now watch this guys see they do burrow right there. I don't know if you can see that. Let me back it up. Right here. They do burrow in and get around the stalks of my plants. And they're having a buffet. And that buffet is about to stop. Now, this is new compost that we put in here, guys. Um, but I've had several of you comment that it was the humidity and the moisture. Look at them. Look at them. And, and I'm sure it is, because we've had, you know, a lot more rain than last year. Look at there. See him? He's coming out as I'm opening up this pile. Okay. So I got about three or four bucketfuls of pill bug, roly polies, whatever you want to call them. They used to be fun to play with as a kid, but I tell you what, I ain't happy now. I heavily put diatomaceous earth around the tomatoes. And we're gonna see what this does. And I'll do some little clips and an update in the morning. And we'll see how we fare. Waking to this this morning, guys. High winds in Parker County, which is northwest of us. Okay, we're hearing some thunder booms. Need to make sure everything's batting down out here. Yeah, everything looks to be battened down, guys. They said it was gonna break up before it hit us. Now, it's not here yet, <laughs> but it doesn't look like it's gonna break up. It, it very well may. But uh, my Tempest alerted me that there was lightning two to five miles from here. So that's always good to know. Even though I may not see it, it's telling me. It's right up there. So there's that line. It's moved through. Not a lot of rain, guys. About three mile an hour. We're getting some rain, but I think it's going to go pretty quick. So we've been in the 80s. Ooh, there was a thunder. 
we've been in the 80s much of this week except for I think Monday and today we're gonna be about 72 but tomorrow clear and 75 Boy, these morning spring thunderstorms sometimes they're beautiful so we're still getting a little rain shower now let's take a gander at what's going on so greg did get the slug stuff i'll show you it here in a minute and we're still seeing some but i know it takes a little bit to kill them Now this is what we got guys. Greg went to Home Depot, Lowe's, and Ace Hardware and none of them had it. So he had to run uh, to Arlington to Callaway's. And uh, we think that this is going to be pill bugs. The answer to our problems. We sure hope so. I'm not seeing them as active on our walking paths like I was yesterday. One of your comments yesterday guys i just hadn't had a chance to respond to all of them but i will thank you i knew you guys would come through and uh would give us some good direction and you did and uh, we're gonna have to keep an eye on on that this year that rain's coming down but it's not bad i think it's gonna move through here pretty quick no wind um, a little bit of lightning a little bit of thunder other than that not much so it's gonna be a beautiful weekend so I'm sure many of you are going to be planting, as we will as well. I feel a little bit better today than I did yesterday, as you can tell from the beginning of that video. Anyway, thank you guys from the bottom of my heart. Lots of love. I knew, I knew that we'd get some answers from you all. We love you. Take care. God bless, and we'll be in touch this weekend. See you soon.